See, when min comes, then it is comparative degree. Remember, uh, min means then. Ana ahsanu minka khattan. What is the translation? In writing. Uh, that's it. So, Sister Afsa, this is your tamiz. Uh, okay, we'll learn more, inshallah, in detail. Mustasna. What is the meaning of mustasna? Exception. Uh, and this is a very interesting lesson, a very big lesson, lesson number 32. Okay. Page number 261. Brothers and sisters, the most common example of mustasna is the use of illa. And it comes in the Quran all the time. Illa means accept. Look at this. Hadarat. Hadarat tullabu kulluhum. Every student came. Illa. Hamidan. Brother, it is mansub. Why it is mansub? So we are going to learn the rules of Mustasna in lesson number 32. Munada. Munada is always. Huh? Ya Abdullahi. So Munada becomes Mansub if there is a harfu nida there. Huh? So these are the nouns which can become Mansub if they come in the following uh, situations. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Sister Mainas, you do not have to memorize. The most important thing will be to understand is Ismu Inna. Mansu. Khabar Kana Mansu. This is where we get sometimes confused. Khabar Inna Marfu. Ismu Kana Marfu. These are the few important things. And others will come and you will be able to recognize it, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Al Majroorat. See, first we did Marfuat. Then we did Mansubat, now we do Majroorat. Brothers and sisters, Majroorat, you learned in book one. And there are no more to learn. That's all. Only in two situations, the ism will become Majroor, sister Hafsa. What are they? Jar Majroor, Mudah Mudaf Ilayhi. Khalas. That's it. And so you know, Mudaf Ilayhi, Al Quranu. Kitabul Lahi. Why it is Lahi? Because it is Mudafili. At-Tullabu Filfasli. Tullabu Filfasli. Brothers and sisters, I want to take you back one more uh, time. The other. Jaddi Yusalli Ka'idan. You said Ka'idan is your Hal. And you say Jaddi is your Muftada. Uh, oh, you did not tell me the khabar. Ah, what is Yusalli? Jumla Fali. How will you describe this of the Al Jumlatul Fialiatu Fi Mahali Rafa in Khabar? Huh? Huh? Did we do it? I, I thought we didn't do it. Huh? I, I just thought I will say it, but I, I escaped my mind. So remember, Yusalli, you will say. Al Jumlatul Fialiatu Fi Mahali Rafaim Khabar. Khabar Far Chaddi. Fine, brothers and sisters. At Tullabu Fil Fasli. Brother, what is, why it is Fasli? Jar Machir. See, it says Masbuku. What is the Masbuku means? Preceded. Huh? Preceded by preposition. When the noun is preceded by a preposition, it becomes. If the preposition comes in front, the noun becomes much more. Tawabi'u. What is the meaning of Tawabi'u? This is a different topic. Huh? Tawabi'u. Brothers and sisters, even tomorrow we will continue with the lesson and we will also start. Lesson 2 tomorrow. Huh? I request you to read the key tonight huh? of lesson 2. You will have some idea, inshallah. Tawabiyu 
is uh, plural and what is the singular? Tavio. Uh, something that follows. Uh. Tavavio is a noun which shares the case ending of another noun in front of it. Uh. Tavavio is a noun which shares the case ending of another noun in front of it. Here the sentence starts with Attabiu who al ismul mushariku mushariku yeah. tell me what this noun is sister mamuna where it is coming from sharaka form 3 ha huh? bab mufa'alatun sharaka yushariku ismu fa'il Mushariku, see, associated, uh, something that associates itself, uh, okay, so this tabiu is a noun associated, uh, lima kablahu, to what is before it, to what is before it, uh, okay, fil era bihi, in era, mutlakan, what is mutlakan? Absolutely. Absolute. It follows. What is before it? It follows in era. But just that we already know all these things. But we are now learning in detail. Huh? And they are in four of four kinds. But huh? and not, you know not. And now Tawkid, we will learn Tawkid. And, and Atf, we know Atf. Huh? And then Badal, our favorite. You know Badal also. Now we are going to learn a little bit more in detail, huh, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, these are the four grammatical elements which have no independent declension of their own. These are the four grammatical elements. What are they? Naat, Badal, Atf, and Tawkid. These have no independent declension. They always follow what is before them. Naat follows Manut. Manut. Badal follows Mubdal Minhu, from where the Badal came. So if, when we say that Talibu, if the Hada is Marfu, the badal is marfu. If hada is mansub, the badal is. So he, it does not have any independent declension. It always follows. That's the meaning of it, brother. Huh? It's very easy. Huh? They are dependent. These four elements are dependent. Dependent on what? On other nouns for their declension. If the manud declines, then the nath declines. Are you with me, brother and sister? So, brother and sisters, Again, this is what we have already studied a little bit more in detail now. Fine, brother and sister. Not. Hadarat talibu jadidu. At talibu ajadidu. See? At talibu marfu. The naat has to be marfu. At talibu is definite. Naat has to be definite. At talibu is uh, singular. Naat has to be singular. A talibu is muzakkar, naat has to be muzakkar. Do you see all these things that we studied in book one? A talibu al jadidu comes. Huh? Because naat and manut, they agree each other in what way, brothers? In case ending, in gender, in being definite and indefinite, and lastly, in number. Huh? Sister Mamuna? We have done this before. So, Yatlubu Mudiru, the Mudir wants to see or demands. What does he demand? At Taliba Al Jadida. See? Agrees. Haza Muptada Daftaru Talibi Al Jadidi. Got the idea? Now, what shall I describe this as? 
I love money. <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters? Fine. Tawqeed. Emphasis. Huh? Here are two words which come most often for emphasis. Hadaratullahu. Brothers and sisters? Hadaratullahu. The students came. Now I want to emphasize. Kulluhum. All of them. So I said kullu. Why did I say kullu? Because kullu is emphasizing tulla and tullabu is marfu. So kullu became marfu. Huh? Kulluhum. Fine brothers and sisters. Mansub. Saltu tullaba. I asked the students. Kullahum. All of them. So kulla became mansub because tullaba is became mansub. Easy brothers and sisters. Huh? Salam tu ala tullabi. I wished, I greeted, I said, Salaamu Alaikum. Kullihim. All of them. So you see, kullu, kulla, kulli. They did not have their independent declension. They followed uh, what they were trying to emphasize. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It's very easy. All you will need is revision at home. Revise it. Uh, and then it will, inshallah, remain with you. Now, there is another form of tawki, which sometimes we use in uh, English also. I really saw him, himself. So, you are just emphasizing it. Okay. So, what is the kalali haza? But the kalali haza. Kala, Fiarun Madin, Li, Jar Majrur, Haza, Mafulun Bihi, and Al Mudiru, File. Here you can say File. And this Sister Manaz, if you say Haza Al Mudiru, no, I don't think. How will you translate? This Mudir, no, the Mudir is always one, brother. Kala Li Haza. The mudir said this. Are you with me? The mudir said this. Then when you say said this, then this is your mafulun bihi. Ah, mashallah, mashallah. Huh? Got the idea? Kala li hazal mudiru. See, mudiru nafsuhu. He himself told me this. Are you with me? The mudir. What will you say in English? The mudir. Himself told me this. What do you say himself? You could have said Mudir told me this. But in order to emphasize, you said the Mudir himself told me this. Are you with me? Fine. Saltul Mudira, I asked the Mudir. Uh, mudira Nafsahu. You know, I asked the Mudir himself. Uh, personally, fine. You can say personally or Nafsahu. Salam to... Alal Mudiri, I said Salaamu Alaikum to the Mudir. Huh? Nafsihi, see Mudiri, Nafsihi. So Nafsuhu, Nafsahu, Nafsihi, dependent on the other word for their era, for their declension, they dependent on the word before. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. That's all, brother. So, what will you say? Saltul Mudira Nafsahu. I asked the headmaster himself. Huh? And if you say, Salamtu Alal Mudiri Nafsihi, I greeted the headmaster himself. Huh? Okay, fine, brother. Atf. Conjunction. Brother and sister, remember? Atf. And then, what is the ism file of Atf? Atifun. And what is maf ism maf'ul? Ma'utufun. Ma'utufun. Fine, brother. Now, brothers and sisters, ma'utuf is also dependent for its Arab from the word before wow. Huh? For example, brothers and sisters, kharaja hamidun. Hamidun is fine. Wow, atf came. And what will be Sadi? Sadi 
Why would you say ku? Why would you say ku? Because Hamid is marfu. So the sadiq ku, the sadiq derives its declension from ha, Hamid. Are you? Huh? And the vow is the connector. Because sadiku is being connected to Hamid by vow. Huh? So we say vow, harfu atfin, and sadiku, brothers and sisters, mautufun ala Hamid. Fine, brother. So if Hamid is marfu, then Sadiq has to be marfu. If Hamid is ansu, Sadiq will be marfu. Talab al mudiru Hamidan wa Sadiqa. You see, Sadiqa. Why ka? Because it is Hamidan. That's Sister Madina. Is it clear, inshallah? This is not difficult, brother. This is all revision for us, rather in detail. Huh? Okay. Aina. Kutubu Hamidin, Hamidin, wa Sadiqi. So why Sadiqi? Because it is Mautufun ala Hamidin. That's it, brothers and sisters. Now comes our Badal, brothers and sisters. Substitute, in place of. Now, Dr. Abdurrahim has beautifully explained in much detail. And the key... Uh, Inshallah, you will read it and try to understand. Because we have done Badal in the book one quite a bit in detail, I just want you to write down one word and, and, and try to, try to say, uh, memorize it, brother. Mubadal minhu. Huh? See from where you get your badal. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? From where you get your the substitute is derived from this source, you can say. Mubadal. Can you figure out what kind of a noun is this? Mu came. Brother, remember mu came. Ism maful, fine. Now, Sister Sukhaina, tell me the verb. See, mu, Sister Sukhaina, will only come in mazid fihi. So if you say badal, that's base form. There is no shadda. Abdala. Form 4. Abdala, yubdilu. Mubdilu and then Mubdalu. Are you with me, Badal Asan? Huh? Form 4. Abdala. See, you cannot say Form 2 because there is no Shadda here. Huh? And there is no Aleph to make it Form 3. So it has to be Abdala, Yubdilu, and Mubdilu, and Mubdalu. It's a mafool. Huh? Okay, fine. I'm going to quiz you all the time, brothers and sisters. Huh? And inshallah. It will give you enough practice to, to master it, inshallah. Hmm? Then she says, always come to the class, unless it's a dire emergency. Huh? Always come to the class. Whenever I say this sentence, I rem remember Sister Fatima Khamisa. She used to say, Brother Asif, everybody should come, the, come to the class unless they are out of town or they are bleeding to death. <laughs> That's the only re time you don't come to the class. <laughs> but that's going too far. Huh? Unless you have dire emergency, brothers and sisters, try to come to the class. Because in the class, we revise so many things. We say so many things. It will give you extra practice, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I want to finish here. Then tomorrow we'll do the fell of all. Huh? Inshallah. What did we do before, brothers and sisters? Al Muarab Wal Binau Fil Asma. Now we'll do Al Muarab Wal Binau Fil Afwal. Very interesting. Most of it you know it. We have done enough practice. We can finish this in half an hour tomorrow, inshallah. Okay. Now, here is a question. A Najaha Akhuka translation. 
Should your brother pass? See, where is the <coughs> verb najaha? Where is the file? Ahu. Huh? Remember, ahu is the file. And then hashimun comes. So what is hashimun? Bada. Where is mubdal minhu? Ahu. So if ahu is marfu, the badal has to be? Got the idea? That's it, brother. Now, arifu. I know. Know what? Akhaka. I know your brother. And then if I have to say Hashim, what will I say? Hashiman. Why Hashiman? Because it is Badal. And what is Mubdal Minhu? Akha. So if Akha is Mansub, Badal has to be Mansub. Fine. Aina Gurfatu Akhika. Translation, brothers. Where is your brother's room? And then you should say, Hashi Min. Why Hashi Min? Because it is Akhi Majroor. Got the idea? Now tell me, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, we knew all these things. Huh? Because we did a good practice. Now comes another form, brothers and sisters. Anaja Hadat Talibu. Hada has come. A Talibu. Badr. Badr, why it is Talibu? Hada is Muftada? Fine. It is fine. Naja Hada. File, brother. File. Okay. How will you describe Haza? Ismu Ishara. Mabniunala Sukun. Fi Mahali Rafa'in Fa'ilun. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Your answers are so sweet, MashaAllah. Brother Abdul Samad, I'm going to enjoy my lunch very much today, inshallah. Arifu. Huh? Uh, I know. Haza Talibu. See, we were more familiar with Badal coming from. Ismu Ishara. Aina Gurfatu Hazat Talibi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So Aina Gurfatu Hazat Talibi. Alhamdulillah. We finish quite a bit of it. Huh? And tomorrow we'll do the other part, brother, which is not very much. Huh? Which is not very much. And it is very interesting. And you know, when we were doing Nakis, we did a lot of practice. Huh? Especially, we started doing Mukaddara business from Nakis verbs. So the same things are coming again. Huh? And we will do it, inshallah, tomorrow. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa kina adhab nar Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina qurrata ayunin wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama Rabbana zalamna anfusana illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna la nakunanna min al-khasirin Rabbana taqabbal minna